Seven Creepiest Things Caught on Security Cameras in this video, Fact Faction takes a look at seven CCTV feeds. We feature some of the creepiest occurrences ever recorded on camera, including the paranormal and plenty of horrified humans. Get yourself prepared for poltergeist activity, unwelcome guests, and the alleged ghost of a small boy. In August 2017, while Brianna Hernandez and her husband were dining on an evening meal, the latter of the pair spotted something spooky meandering across their property's security cameras. First unnoticed by Brianna, her keen-eyed husband saw a floating figure. When interviewed, Brianna told reporters, quote, As soon as I saw it, my hair stood up. I've never seen anything like that before. What her husband had spotted seemed to be a human form drifting across the family driveway close to the couple's cars. Speaking to reporters, Brianna stated, you can see the movement of either arms or legs going with the body as it goes by. Judging from the footage, her description is pretty accurate. According to the testament of the couple, just before the pair moved into the home, they had spoken to a man who was familiar with the property. This man told the twosome that his uncle had passed away while living in a nearby property. The couple believe that it may be this same man who they saw on CCTV. In the footage, the shape seems to be skipping playfully across the screen with its blazing bright white shape. Although some viewers have shown staunch skepticism, the footage does look pretty creepy. Since speaking to local reporters, the couple have remained quiet on any future developments, and the identity of the original white figure remains unknown. In August 2016, Reddit user named Fat and Depressed posted on the social media site to report that he had seen something sinister lurking outside of his home. The user had been utilizing a home security system named Vivint, which remotely connects smartphones to home CCTV cameras in order to tell users that someone is visiting their property. Over the course of three days, Fat and Depressed reported having received eight notifications of a person standing outside their home. Each notification occurred between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., setting the incidents right in the dead of the night. On the first seven occasions, Fat and Depressed checked the live feed for activity but was unable to see anything. The user therefore assumed the problem to be a stray dog or at worst, a prankster. On the eighth occasion, Fat and Depressed discovered something particularly petrifying and the user took to Reddit to report his discovery. In the picture accompanying the post he shared, the visiting vision is shown in all its gruesome glory. The frightening figure's face is set in a grin with heavily darkened eyes. According to Fat and Depressed, this is the visitor who'd been lurking at his door. Having checked the timestamps for the four visits on this night, the user noticed something pretty strange. The uninvited guest had visited three times between 12.07 a.m. and 12.52 a.m. before then disappearing and re-emerging three hours later. Though the user has yet to receive another visit from his unwelcome guest, the case remains an alarming enigma and the mystery man's identity is yet to be revealed. In July 2016, Chicago woman Jordan Baranskas noticed that her purse had gone missing. Her boyfriend, Jack Makercher, assumed that she'd left it in a local restaurant, leading the pair into a minor argument. In an attempt to find it, the pair retraced their steps and perused the security camera footage to work out where they'd managed to misplace it. Rewinding to 3.30 a.m. on a Monday morning, they found something which cleared of them the blame, but terrified them both. The freaky footage showed a hooded intruder standing at the top of their staircase, watching over their home as the couple slept on the living room couch. The couple owned two dogs, who were softly sleeping at their feet. The undeterred intruder moved so quietly that even the dogs were inexplicably unalarmed. 
The footage shows the man standing still on the stairs, while an episode of Mr. Robot plays on TV. Recalling the freaky footage, Baranskas told reporters, he stood there for about five minutes the first time, then walked away, then came back and hovered over us again for another five minutes. The man is suspected to have carried out other neighborhood burglaries in the area. Other residents have posted images of the same man riding his bicycle, searching for properties to rob. The creeped out couple told reporters that they typically lock all of their doors before heading to bed. On this occasion, they'd accidentally fallen asleep in front of the TV, leaving their property atypically unsecure. In the footage, the robber appears to leave the property only after the TV credits start rolling, seemingly indulging in a casual session of TV time. The fate of the thief, nicknamed Creeper Ghost, remains unknown, and local detectives are investigating the case. In October 2017, mother of three, Rochelle Haig, posted CCTV footage on social media in order to alert other parents to a strange man in her neighborhood. The woman, from the UK city of Manchester, was sitting at home while her three children played on their garden trampoline. At around 2 p.m., a mysterious man in a white van stopped in front of their home, allegedly offering donuts to lure the children into his vehicle. In the footage, the eldest child, eight-year-old Sadie, is seen taking her six-year-old and two-year-old siblings inside the home. When their mother came out to confront the driver, he quickly sped away in order to avoid being caught. When speaking to reporters, Haig said, it was absolutely scary to watch, but I'm so proud of my Sadie for acting fast in this footage. She also claimed, when I approached this man, he acted weird and asked me if my kids wanted some donuts, then drove off. The incident is still under investigation and the culprit is yet to be found. In a video posted on YouTube in 2009, a man named Joe Cummings shared CCTV footage captured in his kitchen. Joe set up cameras as he'd noticed food going missing from his home. In an attempt to solve the mystery, he tactically set up surveillance cameras around his Manhattan home and was alarmed by what he found. The unusual video shows a woman entering the man's kitchen via a small door close to the ceiling. The odd intruder gradually clambers down onto the floor by moving fixtures and fittings. She climbs down in an odd and eerie fashion. The weird woman then urinates in Joe's sink before opening his fridge and taking a big gulp from a carton. She continues to steal and eat food while seemingly watching TV. Halfway through the footage, the woman abruptly scurries across the screen as Joe, woken from his sleep, wanders into the kitchen to take some food for himself.
Upon his departure, the mystery woman emerges back into the frame to help herself to more morsels and meals. She then leaves the kitchen via the same route she entered, climbing upon the table before making her eventual exit. In footage captured the following morning, Joe can be seen swigging from the same carton as his brash burglar. According to the uploader, the woman was homeless and had been living secretly in his apartment for at least a couple of weeks, residing in the cramped quarters from which she crawled out of. Once Cummings viewed the CCTV footage, he contacted police and the woman was arrested. In March 2018, Joe Cummings left an update on his video, claiming that he has additional lost footage of the woman, which he'll be releasing soon. A link to his channel is in the description. A UK antique store in Barnsley, South Yorkshire, has allegedly been experiencing phantom phenomena since 2014. The owner of the store has reportedly witnessed over 50 unexplainable events since taking charge of the business. The incidents, which occur both by night and during the day, have included a bunch of hair-raising happenings and hauntings. In one incident, a rocking horse was recorded moving of its own accord before falling off a store shelf. The owner has attempted to recreate the motion himself, but has had no success. Other incidents have included framed photographs moving of their own volition and a cabinet seemingly exploding. Books, figurines, and skateboards have also been spotted moving unaided. In another incident, the 11-year-old daughter of the owner entered the basement before running out screaming in a state of panic. In an interview, the owner told reporters, they do say that the mill owner who worked on the old mill in the 1800s died here. He hanged himself in the 1960s apparently, just five steps away from where we are right now. Some speculate that the haunted happenings may be the result of a poltergeist or dead children. Paranormal investigators tasked with exploring the ongoings concluded differently. They believe that the ghost of an unidentified homeless man has orchestrated the eerie events. Allegedly, this man, when alive, would routinely wander into the graveyard upon which the shop was built. However, the actual identity of this alleged man remains unknown, as does the origin of the horrifying happenings. New York illustrator Adam Ellis has been regularly updating his Twitter since August 2017 to report upon terrifying events occurring in his apartment. Allegedly haunted by a ghost he'd first seen in his dreams, he reportedly receives visits from the ghost of a young boy with a misshapen head. What makes this case most curious of all is that it currently is ongoing. The first time he saw the boy in a dream, Ellis had reportedly been suffering from sleep paralysis. He saw the child sitting in the rocking chair at the foot of his bed. The child's head reportedly had a large dent on one side. He then reported that the boy stood up and shambled towards him. Just as he was about to reach Ellis's bed, he awoke screaming. Ellis shared the vision he'd seen by drawing a picture of the alleged apparition and posting it online. In a later dream, Ellis encountered a girl in a library who asked him, You've seen Dear David, haven't you? The girl told Ellis that Dear David appears at midnight in the form of a small boy. According to this girl, David allows dreamers to ask two questions. If they ask a third, he kills them. Ellis's dreams continued in various forms before seemingly crossing over into reality. The dreams stopped for a while before Ellis moved into a new apartment. 
His cats then began exhibiting bizarre behavior, gathering at the front door at midnight for four consecutive nights. During this period, they would stare at the door as if something was on the other side. On one of these evenings, Ellis looked through the peephole and saw something move. His cats continued to demonstrate the same odd behavior. Ellis then took a photograph through the peephole. This photograph showed a shape lurking on the stairs outside of his apartment. In order to investigate further, Ellis used a sleeping app to see if he could pick up on any suspicious sounds. This app works by detecting noises made during the night. What he found was vague, but included static electric noises, along with strange snapping sounds. On another occasion, Ellis awoke as his whole house was shaking. His fear growing greater, Ellis bought a motion sensor camera for while he was away from his apartment. This camera caught footage of his cats behaving strangely, as if watching invisible beings move and meander through the apartment. One of the videos showed a cat perched upon its hind legs and peering around the room. Some other footage recorded a household decoration slipping and dropping from its place on the wall. Ellis's dreams began to reoccur and become more disturbing. In one dream, David clamored toward Ellis before coming face to face with him. In the dream, Ellis snapped some photographs. When awake, he then checked his camera and found what appeared to be images of David with his half-dented head. Ellis then took further creepy photographs, which clearly showed David sitting upright in the apartment. These images also showed him staring at the ceiling and standing over Ellis as he slept. The final picture of this sequence is an extreme close-up of David, showing only his hair and the top of his head. Ellis continues to update his Twitter with current ongoings. Most recently, he discovered small footprints in the snow outside of his apartment. Ellis recently had another dream in early January 2018 of David crashing down from the ceiling onto his chest. A photograph taken by Ellis shows David falling from the ceiling. As of January 2018, the updates continue. And there you have it. These were the creepiest security camera videos we could find. Which footage do you think was the most bizarre? Thanks for watching. Please remember to leave a rating and subscribe if you haven't already.